Leroy Selman, former USF Athletic Director and Bucks Pro Football Hall of Famer, was remembered Friday, September 9, 2011. The champion defensive end and Tampa Bay icon was 56 when he died suddenly. During his memorial service, family and friends gathered to say goodbye. I loved Leroy. We all loved Leroy Selman, and we're all deeply saddened by his loss. To Clabra, Brandy, Leroy Jr., and Christopher, all of Leroy's extended family, our hearts and prayers are with you. Always spoke from the heart, and he always placed the interest of student athletes first. And isn't that how it should be? When Leroy said, I believe, people listened. Fans cheered Selman's amazing string of accomplishments on the field. He played for the University of Oklahoma and won back-to-back -back national championships, including the Vince Lombardi and Outland trophies. He went on to be Tampa Bay Buccaneers' first pick in the 1976 NFL Draft. He was named the league's Defensive Player of the Year in 1979 and was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. It's something that I, I really never dreamed of uh, throughout my entire career, of ever uh, being inducted into the National Football League Hall of Fame because it truly is an outstanding honor. Selman joined USF's athletic department in 1993 as an associate athletic director. He went on to be USF's athletic director from 2001 to 2004. Selman was instrumental in growing USF's sports programs, especially football. Selman is remembered as a man of integrity who showed by example. He was helping to develop a life skills program to prepare USF athletes for a career beyond sports. He worked closely with USF Athlete Development Coordinator and former Tampa Bay Bucks player Brian Clark. He just felt that it was our duty to enlighten, to educate our student athletes on finances. All, I mean, from tracking your spending, budgeting, savings, credit cards, everything. He felt like they needed to know while they were here, and they definitely need to know that when they leave here. Uh, we need to give them more than just a piece of paper and a hand clap of their accomplishments of getting a degree and the accomplishments they got on the field, but we need to give them something that they can use and they can build their lives on. And he felt finances was a strong piece of that. And so we'll be launching um, our first official program of Enhancing You uh, will be that financial piece. It just happened to be, it will be that financial piece that Leroy wanted to see get done. In 2004, to commemorate USF's 50th anniversary, Assistant Librarian Andrew Hughes asked Selman for advice to help young, aspiring athletes. Well, I would, I would say always, always keep your priorities in line. Uh, be honest with yourself. You know, really be honest with yourself, uh, knowing that whatever the goals that you have set, uh, 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 believe in yourself that you could get those done. Uh, Obviously, school is very important, no matter what those goals may be. You know, there are some basic learning tools and skills that you need to develop while you're in high school. Work very hard on those. Be successful, because those are the keys that's going to open your next doors of opportunity, whether it's at the college level or if you want to go in a different direction. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. But focus in on staying in school and, and, and making that an important part of your life as a high schooler because it'll it will make a big difference no matter what direction you choose to go and what to graduate. Leroy was one that empowered and if you take anything from the articles, if you take anything for anything that I've said or anyone else has said, be empowered to do something for someone else. I want people to walk away with that because I feel like that's that's how Leroy impacted me. He empowered me to help other people. He was truly a pillar of our university and our community. We can't imagine the campus without him. And that is why yesterday, the University of South Florida Board of Trustees unanimously approved my request to rename the USF Athletic Center 
as Thank you. As the Leroy Selman Athletic Center at the University of South Florida. Thank you. And while we do not know how we will fill the great void created by his loss, we know Leroy Selman's legacy carries on at the University of South Florida.